Okay, well, welcome back, everyone, to Battleflix Trivia. I'm your host, Elijah Hedrick, here in the Good Times studio. We officially concluded with our regular season, the first regular season in the show's history, um, and we tallied up the numbers. It's the fastest-growing trivia show in the nation, as long as you don't look it up. Um, but yeah, we're excited to get this tournament going. How it's going to work from here on out, we're going to have a tournament starting in March. And so what this February is going to look like, we're going to have playing rounds. So there's four seeds decided out of eight and based that these seeds are based on the previous performances. So the five to eight seeds are up for grabs. We're going to be having some head to head matchups. Whoever wins the head to head matchup gets to go to the tournament and then their seed will be decided from there and gets a team name and gets a team name. That's true. We had. We have three team. We're up to three team names now. Four team names. Yeah, that's right. They had one come in, so that's satisfying. Um, it's unbelievably refreshing to have a matchup there that doesn't include Mister and Mister Unlimited. Um, nothing against them. Love them to death. They had a crazy good run, going eleven and zero. Um, had a chance to go undefeated, but unfortunately, were taken down by the long-awaited ringer Cam last week and his ever so helpful partner Jake Bratton. But we got some familiar faces here today. Um, should be a good one. We got the beautiful Joey back with us for the third time with his partner, Aaron, uh, as well as Marcus and Will. So, guys, you've been on the show before, but how are you feeling? A little more pressure, a little more high stakes for this matchup. How's everyone doing? Joey, we'll start with you. You know, I feel at home. Uh, we got a nice – I got a nice competition ahead of me. You know, I respect Will and Marcus as – human beings and his friends but when it comes to this uh i, I have less than zero percent respect for either of them um I care about them a lot but i feel good like the grit aaron how about you how you feeling how come you only called joey beautiful <laughs> i sorry i just i think you're what even more hell, beautiful man? and i'm just a little intimidated by you joey's joey's I'm comforting beautiful. face yeah. i'm fine thank you no i don't know <laughs> Just happy to be here. There we go. Uh, Marcus and Will, you guys had some strong intros last time, some high confidence. So how are you feeling about this matchup? Uh, happy to be here. As long as I've got Marcus on my side, I'm confident. Ready to roll. Okay. We're going to have always have a chance. As many avatar questions as possible. <laughs> um, but the things will be a little different for these playing rounds just because there's going to be a decent amount of them. Um, we're going to lower the questions back a little bit. So instead of the usual 16 rounds and 32 questions, we're going to have 12 rounds and 24 questions in total. But same rules apply. Still have 30 seconds to answer each one. Lifelines are still the phone a friend, the second take, and the cue card. Um, tie at the end. We'll have a buzzing round. And that is about it. If you win, move on to the tournament. You'll get your seed and the chance at a unbelievable prize. So. May the best team win. Is there any questions before we get started? Let's have a clean. Let's have fun. Let's have fun. Should we have the higher seed choose if they want to go first or second? Mm, or do you want to spin the? I wheel? was just gonna do the wheel again because that's what wheel. that's what we'll do in the tournament. Go for the wheel. Wheel is set up. I wish you guys could see it, but you'll just have to trust me. Why it'll be here? Looks like a wheel. It does look like a wheel. Oh. Ooh, Will and Marcus starting us off. <laughs> All right. Well, same categories per usual. We're going to start off with the general categories. There's going to be four questions in each one, two for each team. Marcus and Will, you guys ready to get the ball rolling here? Ready to go. Wyatt's on my side, making sure I don't fuck up per usual as well. 30 <laughs> seconds on the clock. Ooh, nice little meatball to start off. Uh, what does Tyler Durden make and sell in the 1999 film? Never seen it. You haven't seen Fight Club? Oh, shit. Never. Bad for us. Uh, Not once. Dude, I want to say it's like printers or something. He works in like that really boring office. Um, Joey, 15 do you know? seconds. I'm going to... I will add it's his alter ego. So like Tyler Durden, not the... Not the Edward Norton character, but Brad Pitt's oh. character. Five seconds. I don't know. Bottle rockets. I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We'll time is up. Rockets. Final answer. 
Bottle <laughs> Rockets is incorrect. Aaron and Joey, <laughs> would you guys like to attempt to steal? No, I've I've never seen them either. I'm a girl. I'm not allowed to watch my club. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll pass this to you. Deb wouldn't right. give it to the next person. Uh, no. <laughs> no one's attempting it. It was soap. Soap. Oh, like the the, the cover. Yeah, yeah. The, yeah, it's on the on the cover of the movie. Uh, why can you edit it out so I don't say because <laughs> technically I'm not allowed oh, to believe it. I'll censor. Not allowed to talk about. We're it. gonna get ripped to shreds if this <laughs> clip gets posted. <laughs> Consider yeah, it. Consider it. Posted. Yeah, <laughs> we're gonna get incinerated. What a hot way to start off. Yeah, <laughs> Dude, no one would have gotten that movie poster if, in big. The title's in the soap. All if, right. if the next one is Pulp Fiction and we fuck it up, we're gonna be killed in the streets. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna be uh, completely honest with you. I thought he was holding an eraser the whole time. <laughs> I've seen that poster. It's just I hope there's like a whiplash. Film question. bro, film bro, riot. Just outside oh, bro. all right uh aaron and joey next question for you guys what big u.s city does the 2006 film the pursuit of happiness take place in i want to say philadelphia aaron seems legit that's the, that's the sad one with will and jay yeah i think it's philadelphia yeah, yeah. final um, answer let's go uh, with yeah. it. let's go with it philadelphia final answer Philadelphia is incorrect. Marcus and Will, would you guys like to attempt to steal? I don't know it. Nah. I'm taking a steal. I don't know it, it was don't know. Sa- San Francisco. Shit. Oh, yeah, the trolley that. scene. Yeah. All right, well, we're back to Marcus and Will. In the 2017 <laughs> film, The Shape of Water, the woman who forms a relationship with the aquatic creature works at the facility. What is her job there? Dude, does she feed like the orcas or does she feed i've seen i've I've seen moonlight but not this one it's a tough episode 15 (laughs) (laughs) i'm like trying not to laugh we have to guess something right yeah uh, yeah Uh, five seconds you think think it'd be something marine based like uh, sea life yeah yeah let's say what do you want to say she works at uh time is world she, she feeds the sea life. Feeds the sea life. Final answer. Marine biologist. Final answer. Feeds the sea life. Marine biologist is incorrect. Aaron and Joey, would you guys like to attempt to steal? I think I know. Do you have any idea? I haven't seen this one. Okay. Um, I, I someone's got to score a point at some at some <laughs> yeah. point. That, that would help. <laughs> I believe she's on the custodial staff. That makes. I don't know. Is she like formally dressed? Are, are you though? accepting like, the steal? I gotta gotta hear that. Yeah, we'll accept this. Too. Okay, cool. Timers I, has been started. I don't remember. I know that it's not something where she like is fully working for them. Like she's in like an auxiliary role there. I, I mean, the custodial would make sense because it's seconds. like late at night. You don't yeah. know what's gonna happen. I I think custodial staff. Final answer. Custodial staff is correct. So that gets a team on the board. Come on, now. God, this is huge. That Damn, was a big risk. That was this. big. Uh, all right. Well, it is now two to zero. Last question in the general category. Uh, Marcus and Will. Last question for you. Oh no, that was a steal. Back to Aaron and Joey. What is yep. the name of the man that Clarice shoots and kills during the investigation in the Silence of the Lambs? Is it the main bad guy, Buffalo Bill? It puts the lotion on the hands. You want to say that? <laughs> I've never seen Signs of the Lambs, but I know seconds. he's like, it puts the lotion on the hands. Like, that's like the... Never the seen it, but you know that. I don't Proper know. Quote. I've seen it like two times. I don't think I could have gotten that quote. All right, you got five seconds. I don't know any other person in it. So I think... Yeah, Buffalo we Bill. can go with that. All right, Buffalo Bill, final answer. Buffalo Bill is correct. It's now three to zero. Moving on to the Oscars category. First question for Marcus and Will. Uh, since 2005, two Best Picture winners have taken place primarily in Boston. Name one of them. When was Goodwill Hunting, Marcus? Dude, I don't know. I don't. I'm not good with years. Oh, Moneyball movies. No, wait. That's in. That's in. That's in Oakland, Oakland, isn't it? Oakland days, yeah. 
Uh, what about the town? Do you think that one best seconds. picture? I never watched the town. I I mean I don't know how well it did, but I know I know I think that was in Boston. Do you want to go seconds. Goodwill Hunting? I mean that's a solid answer. Yeah, but I feel like it's earlier than that. I think Goodwill Hunting's like two thousand one. And that's time's what, up. I, mean, I think that's a, I guess the town. Final answer. The town is incorrect. Aaron and Joey, would you guys like to attempt to steal? Can I hear the question one more time? I'm sorry. Yep. Since 2005, two Best Picture winners have taken place primarily in Boston. Name one of them. Aaron, do you want to steal? Uh, I don't know 100%, but I know like a past couple Best Picture winners. Let's do it. Let's we do it. We're going to steal. Right. Taking the steal. Timer's on. Okay. Have you seen Coda? Where does Coda take place? Uh, a dock area. There's boats. So that fits Boston. Okay, because that was last year. I didn't see uh, it. Nomadland was the year before. That's now. That's now. No, Could Nomadland was the year before. You got six seconds Did left. Say Coda? I think Coda's a good guy. Okay. Coda, uh, final cool. answer. Coda is incorrect. That will mm. take you a point down. Now, two to zero. It's a fight. I just want to point out. Will throwing out a movie about the Oakland A's for a, <laughs> for a movie set in Boston is one of the more absurd things I've seen on this show. I forgot which baseball team he was for. Oh man! <laughs> well, Wait, what, in in all that... fairness, in all fairness, he does get the job offer offer right. from the Red Sox later in the movie. So maybe laugh. That's yeah. yeah. That was it. Burn, burn the recording. Good shit with this episode. Know. What are the two in Boston? I'm curious. Uh, it was The Departed and Spotlight. Sorry, I forgot to say the correct answer. Oh, I didn't know The Departed one, Best Picture. That would have been a good guess. Um, all right, next, right. next question. Because it would have been right. Next question for Aaron and Joey. Which 2016 film was nominated for Best Actor, Best Actress, and Best Picture, infamously, infamously losing all three? I don't even remember 2016. Like any of it? No. Uh, it wouldn't be La La Land. 2016. No, it could have been. No. I was, couldn't it have been? You got yeah, but... 10 seconds left. I don't think. And he said I mean, infamous. Infamous, like, yeah. It could. I think everyone was nominated. One second. And... Uh, La La Land, final answer. La La Land is correct. Four to zero. Joey second guessing himself again. Come on. I know. I just uh, I didn't look in the mirror and tell myself I was great today. <laughs> All right. Next question for Marks and Will. Uh, the How to Train a Dragon trilogy lost the Oscar for best animated feature for all three installments, losing to this famous animated series twice. I mean, what, what, I mean, what what animated series got two movies out? It's like going up in names. Dude. Yeah, like Frozen. Frozen has two movies. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's what jumped to me. Toy, that's Toy Story. Toy Story has two has four movies. I, I don't know if that that timeline adds up though. You got five seconds. And time <laughs> is up. Frozen. Frozen. Yeah. Final answer? Sure. That is incorrect. Aaron and Joey, would you like to steal? Yeah, let's, let's steal. Taking the steal. Marcus, I'm so sorry, but I think it is Toy Story. Well. That's the only thing I could think of that would have multiple. I'm just confused on the timeline for that. Two, I know Toy Story 3. That's definitely within the range. But and when did Toy, Toy Story, Story 4? I think it's I Toy Story know. 4. That would have beaten the third one. Yeah, fifteen. I don't know anything other than Toy Story that is two. Yeah, I think Toy Story is a good guess. Yeah, want to say that? Yeah, Toy Story. Final answer. (laughs) Toy Story is correct. It was uh, I want to say like Toy Story two beating How to Train Your Dragon one. Toy Story or no, Toy Story three and Toy Story four beating. It was Toy Story three and four. Okay, Toy Story four beating the darn fork. Sport. Hot take. I think How to Train a Dragon is the best animated series of all time. I think they are perfect movies. 
Because mm. um, of the dragons? Kind of because of the dragons, yeah. Yeah, that's my favorite part, too. <laughs> All right, last question in this category for Aaron and Joey is now five to zero. Name two of the five nom- nominees for best animated feature for the 2023 Oscars. Push and Boots. Um, uh, Pinocchio. Yep. Cool, done. Push and Boots and Pino- Pinocchio, final answer. That is correct. A nice, nice swift one there to take a 7-0 lead. Oscars category is finished up. We're going to the name that film category. I'm going to give you a year and three actors or actresses. And this week's genre is mystery films. So we'll get started with Marcus and Will, 2014, Rosamund Pike, Tyler Perry, and Emily Ratajkowski. Nailed it. I don't think I did. Nailed it. Are you speaking? Yeah, did you hear me? Will? No, Will. No, I don't know. Uh, your mouth was moving. I don't know. No, I was like just thinking. I was like, 2014 mystery Tyler Perry. That oh. threw me off. Remember, you guys have your lifelines. No one's used one yet. Is it Millen a big I don't want to use phone. Fan? I don't want to use phone a friend because I don't think Millen will know this one. What about Q card? Q you card. can get Q card as well. We'll do that one. Using the cue card. Um, so I'll give you a, another actor. Um, ben Affleck. <laughs> oh. Who are the other people? What ben Affleck. Farting? You now have Ben Affleck, Rosamund Pike, Tyler Perry, and Emily. Don't make me say her last name again. Uh, <laughs> I keep going. Kowski. There it is. What what's that one with Ben Affleck that was yeah. like Fargo or Argo? Yeah, yeah, it would seconds. be Argo. 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 That, that yeah, lines I mean, up. I'm... Yeah. Let's do it. Argo. Argo. Argo is incorrect. Aaron Joey, <laughs> would you guys I like liked to? It, though. Yeah, let's, steal. <laughs> I let's liked steal. it though. All right, taking the steal. It's Gone Girl. Oh, yeah, Gone Girl. Gone Girl oh, is correct it's for a. <laughs> A successful Never steal. Gave them the entire cast. So <laughs> they weren't going to get it. <laughs> Neil Patrick Harris is the only main one left out. Uh, oh, why? I knew I that. I would have got that. <laughs> NPH, baby. Needed that. Not the two. Villain would have gotten that. The guy that gets brutally <laughs> murdered. Uh, why can I get a score check for my dumbass? I think it's 8 0. Correct. It's 8 to nothing. Nice. All right. We're on low score watch. <laughs> low <laughs> score watch. We'd like well, to technically, we can't points. do that because the. The number of questions have changed. But is there I think a mercy rule? It's, zero, it's, I mean, that's it's like yeah. intramural <laughs> basketball where there's like a mercy rule. Can we give like them? 10. Can we give them four points? <laughs> this is hard. Yeah. <laughs> oh uh, man. Yeah. I don't, we haven't had a, we haven't had a shutout yet, so yeah, I feel like no, there's no. got to be some kind of. We're reward. not going to get shut out. We'll Dude, I don't know. Summer. I think we might. Yeah, we're going to get might. one right eventually. They're going to give. I've us never seen. I don't think I've seen a movie ever. <laughs> I haven't seen any of these movies that they talked about except for La La Land. You want to come on the show? I haven't seen any movies, but fuck it. Just here to have fun. All right. Uh, just here to have fun. All right. Next question for Aaron and Joey. Same style of question. 2015, Kurt Russell, Channing Tatum, and Tim Roth. Dun, 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 dun. 2015. <laughs> wouldn't be Magic Mike 2. Because this is no. a family show. Uh, what are the Kurt Russell movies? Was he in Twenty Two Jump Street? Fifteen seconds. Was that my name is My name is Jeff. I don't. Yeah, I don't yeah. think I know this. I I Five think I, my best guess is Twenty Two Jump Street. You gonna say that? And you have yeah. lifelines. Reminder: Time is up. Twenty Two Jump Street. Final answer. 22 Jump Street is incorrect. Marks and Will steal attempt. Come on, boy. Can we go negative? <laughs> yeah, I guess yeah you can, can we even yeah. go negative? <laughs> yeah, you can. Never really had that problem yet, but. Oh, no. Please Come steal. On. Please steal. Come on. <laughs> you don't want to go Magic Mike here? Dude, you think it's Magic Mike? <laughs> All right. Dude, I don't are know. You, are you accepting or declining? I guess we'll decline it. Decline. Right. Uh, the correct answer was the hateful eight. Channing oh, Tatum was in Hateful Eight. Yeah. yeah. I've seen that yeah. one. All right. Can next see. one for Marks and Will. 2013, Viola Davis, Jake Gyllenhaal, and Paul Dano. Oh, Prisoners. 
Final answer. Prisoners is correct. They are yeah. on the board. Let's go. Let's Eight go. to two and a quick one from Will. Well done. Let's All go, right. Last Will. last question in this category for Aaron and Joey. 2010, Mark Ruffalo, Michelle Williams, and Ben Kingsley. Twenty ten wouldn't have been Zodiac. That came out earlier, right? No idea. Mark Ruffalo. Fifteen seconds. <clears throat> I don't know. Yeah, I think Zodiac's my only guess. Okay. Five I seconds. don't. Will just had a brain blast. <laughs> I got oh. it. <laughs> All right, Zodiac. Final answer. Zodiac is incorrect. A stake in the steel. <laughs> All right, let's hear Shutter it. Shutter Island. Shutter Island is correct. Sorry, I didn't let you oh, yeah. answer. Let's go. Button Kingsley. Successful let's steal. Go. Hey, we got a match here. It's Uh-oh. eight to three. Come on now. This, let's go. This is a comeback. I'm going to delete my Hey, okay, we'll take those four points now, Joey. <laughs> All right, you can have them. <laughs> no, no, give it away, points. That makes I'm... it seven four, Marcus Will. <laughs> eight, eight. <to> th- <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> We're up. Give us a point. <laughs> All right. We got actors and actresses for this next category. First question for Marcus and Will. What is Andrew Garfield's most recently acted in film? It's film released in the winter of 2021. Oh, no way home. Oh. Right? Who? What what? Andrew Garfield most recently acted in film. It was Spider Man. Yeah. Yeah. That would make sense. Spider Man. No way home. Final answer. That is correct. Kind of a meatball there. I just thought maybe I'd get some people with Tick, Tick, Boom. but That's what I was going to say. I was thinking of the Under the Banner of Heaven. What a comeback. But that's what a comeback. Easy. It is now 8-5. to five. Not out of this by any means. Next question <sighs> for Aaron Joey. What is Gal Gadot's most recently acted in film? This film released in the winter of 2022. Uh, I think it's the Imagine video, right? <laughs> Is it um Death on the Nile? Oh man. 2022? Was that 2022? Was it? I don't know. It wouldn't be Red Notice, would it? Ooh. Is it? No, I think Red Notice was earlier. What? Uh, I don't know. 15 don't seconds. Know. I don't know. I I helped out on a production and we watched it, and I believe that was in the winter. Five seconds. If you, know, you if you think you, that's right, okay. Death in the Night was the only one I can think of. But I have no idea when that came out. Time is up. Do you have an answer for us, Aaron? <laughs> Red notice. Final answer. Red notice is incorrect. No. Oh God. Let's steal it. <laughs> Marcus and Will. Oh God! Death on the Nile. Death on the Nile is correct. So <laughs> Let's go. Oh, oh, this could be a collapse. Oh, no. Now eight oh, to six. God. Oh, he's holding. Hot. He's hot. Holding going on. Dude, Will I is hot. It. Every time he he's gets the, the steel in his brain, you see the finger go up. I fucking love it. <laughs> I'm so nervous. <laughs> My heart is <laughs> pounding. I'm sorry, Aaron. I ruined that. No, it's okay. I, Dude, you know. I knew. <laughs> All right. Well, this next. God damn it. Uh, this next question is for. Um, sorry, Aaron and Joey. No. Or no, Mark. No, no, no. bad. The, yeah. the, the, they went first. Uh, so I'm gonna give you three films. You tell me the actor or actress. The Gentleman, The Wolf of Wall Street, and Sing Two. Uh, could be Jonah Hill. What do you think, Marcus? It's not Leonardo DiCaprio. It's, okay. I'll give you that one. It's not him. Appreciate it. I think it's Jonah. Yeah. You got 15 seconds to clear. What other you. major actor was in Wolf of Wall Street that we can think of off the top of our heads? Could it be a woman? I guess it could be an actress. <laughs> it's so weird. <laughs> Yeah, I guess Jonah Hill. 
Oh fuck! John Hill is incorrect. <laughs> no! <laughs> All right, let's do. John Hill is incorrect. Um, oh shit! Yeah. Joey and Aaron taking the steal. Uh, Matthew McConaughey. Matthew McConaughey <laughs> is correct. Ah, <sighs> to get that lead He's back, Koala is now nine to six. Um, all right, koala. last one in the actors and actresses category for Aaron and Joey. Again, three films, actor, actress, Avatar, The Way of the Water. <laughs> <laughs> well, if they ask a bunch of stupid-ass Avatar questions again, I'm definitely going to win. <laughs> right there. Dude, was there right that there. many? I think there was one. I think there was one, too. Dude, I hate that fucking movie. James Cameron. <laughs> Fuck man, um, <laughs> divergent and flushed away. Oh, what was the second, the second one? one? <laughs> divergent. Thanks, Wyatt. So it could be a woman. We gotta keep that. Oh, uh, uh, you narrowed it down to could be a woman. <laughs> would it be Kate Winslet? Oh, was she in Flushed Away? I don't know, but I know she was in Avatar yeah. and Divergent, and that's the only yeah. overlap I can think of. Great, yeah. Okay. Kate Winslet, final answer. Kate Winslet is correct. Nice. Getting that lead back. God, I'm crying. That shit was so funny. <laughs> hey, why did it take over? Joe Mixon has a warrant right now, Marcus. Uh, yeah, breaking for what? news. Joe Mixon. Every time right. Joey's on, I just Assault. have fucking laugh attacks, man. A warrant for what? Assault? Uh, aggravated oh, medicine. All like, right, is now what? Assault. Like aggravated uh, assault. But what like are we talking thing. about? Like, Joe Mixon is has a warrant out for his arrest. Oh, okay. breaking news. This should be random. Him. How did that come I'll up? Free him. All yeah, right, eleven to six. Sweating my ass off. We got two categories left: directors and movie quotes. Uh, so we're <laughs> back to back to Marcus and Will. Arrange these Steven Spielberg films in order from oldest to newest. Uh, so I'm going to give you three and you arrange them. Saving Private Ryan, Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade, and Jurassic Park. And you have twice the time on this just because it takes a little longer. I think it's Last Crusade, Jurassic Park, and then um, Saving Private Ryan. Okay, do you know any of those? In like in, in One of those, like, for sure. Like, I, you feel, know, one's like I feel like first... Indiana Jones came out before Jurassic Park. Because we... We have our what double take, so we can if we have one locked in, we can just flip the other two. Five seconds. Oh, that's true. <laughs> you only say your double take if you get it wrong in that first try. Time is up though. Gotta gotta hear that order. Okay. Right. Uh, say it. Uh, okay, we'll use our double take if we get it well, wrong. Just, okay. Just let him be. Okay. Uh, Last Crusade, <laughs> and then um, Jurassic Park, then Saving Private Ryan. That is correct. To get two points and cut that lead eight to eleven now. Same kind of question for Aaron and Joey. Arrange these three James Cameron films in order from oldest to newest. Oh, I'm, so, I'm, so, <laughs> I'm so fucking glad I didn't put Avatar in this one. Uh, <laughs> Terminator Two, Titanic, and Aliens. Oh, uh, uh, Terminator Two came after Terminator. It would been. <laughs> We it would have been weird okay. to start on a sequel. Would... This guy's good. <laughs> this guy's good. <laughs> Titanic was what, 99, 98? You got 12 seconds left. Was it so would it be Aliens Titanic Terminator 2? Where does Terminator I, 2 fall in? I Five think seconds. Terminator 2 is before Titanic. In the middle? Yeah. Okay. Time is up. You got it for me. Aliens, mm-hmm. Terminator 2, Titanic, final answer. That is correct. It's now 13 to 8. Back to Marcus and Will. Ridley Scott and Russell Crowe have been a consistent director actor duo. Name two films with this duo. So one of them's Gladiator. Um other one could be Robin Hood. Gladiator and Yeah. I like it. I'm trying to think of other Russell Crowe movies. 15 seconds. Uh, Thor. <laughs> All right. Uh, okay. Five seconds. Gladiator and um, Robin Hood, final answer. Gladiator and Robin Hood. Who is distracting me? Joey's He's trying to correct. 
Joey is distracting. He's, is... he's direct messaging me while I <laughs> he he suck farts. That Robin Hood movie is probably one of the worst movies I've ever watched. And I accidentally watched it twice. Because <laughs> the first time I watched it, I was like, oh, Russell Crowe's Robin Hood. That'll be all right. And it was bad. And then like two years later, I was like, have I seen this Russell Crowe's Robin Hood movie? And then I got about halfway through it and I was like, God, this sucks. So. 13 to 10, right? 13 to 10. Yep. We got, we got one Not more question. Not every story's a winner. No, I like the story. I'm just confused why, like, how you got halfway through and hadn't realized that you had seen it already. Because I got a bad brain. What do you want from me? <laughs> Nothing at all. All right. Last question in the director's category for Aaron and Joey. Uh, Martin Scorsese and Leonardo DiCaprio have been a consistent director actor duo uh, similarly. So, name two films with this duo. Wolf of Wall Street. And you said Martin Hugo. Scorsese. Okay, doesn't even matter. That's not Hugo. That was a joke one. I didn't. Uh, I didn't catch the the second half of the duo. Is Martin Scorsese and who? Leonardo DiCaprio. Oh, okay. Fifteen um, seconds. So Wolf of Wall Street. Yes. And uh, no, did he didn't? No, he did. He do Shutter Island. Did he? Time is know. up. You got something? <clears throat> uh, Wolf of Wall Street and Shutter Island, final answer? No, that, fuck. Wait, no. Oh, fuck. That is correct. <laughs> you got oh, it. Okay. he said no. <laughs> he said final answer, so it's locked in. Well, uh, I just switched to The Departed anyway. In that one. That, yeah, that would have been correct as well. 15 to 10. We got one more category left for you guys. This is going to be movie quotes. Uh, so this first one for Marcus and Will. Fill in the blanks from this quote. Uh, from the 1979 film Apocalypse Now. I love the smell of blank in the morning. It smells like blank. Can we use phone a friend? Yes. Melon's going to know this one. Who has seen this movie that you know? Maybe Melon. Melon. All right. Okay. I also watched the documentary about the movie. All right. We're using phone a friend with my roommate Melon. All right. Sounds good. We'll start the, doc- the timer. The documentary was called Apocalypse Now. What was that? Can you name? say it again. Apocalypse then. Can you say it again? Uh, yep. Uh, fill in the blank from this quote in the 1979 film Apocalypse Now. I love the smell <laughs> of blank in the morning. It smells like blank. Love the smell of napalm in the morning. It smells like. Oh, I don't know what it smells like. Dude, and are you freedom? It could be for you. I love the smell of napalm in the morning. It smells like... 15 I mean, seconds. Freedom makes sense. sense. Okay. Is it freedom or capitalism? I think freedom would be better. Okay. All right. Can we have a double take? Of... Can we have a love... double take as well? Uh, Just one per ca- or per question. Okay. Mill and say it. <laughs> I love the smell of napalm in the morning. It smells like freedom. Final answer. That is incorrect. Joey and Aaron, would you guys like to try and steal here? I've never heard the quote long before, so I'm going to say no. But if you okay, pass it on the steal. Uh, the first part was right, napalm, but it smells like victory. Was the uh, the second part of that one? Um, all right, why well, you got a calculation going? Yeah, so you're down by five. There's enough points on the board to come back. You just okay. need some. Oh, right, we got this. We got this. Just need some steals. All right. Yep. Aaron and Joey, back to you guys. Fill in the blank from this 1979 film as well, Rocky II. Uh, I just want to say one thing to my wife who's home. Yo, blank. Blank did it. Dude, I can't believe that they ah! get an easy ass question. Adrian. Isn't that what he says? I've never seen Rocket 2 ask. <laughs> no idea. Adrian. Adrian. And that's it. Uh, Adrian, I did it. 15 no, seconds. Adrian, I did it. Or is this a Apollo? No. Adana. No. Adana. For the win. This for I don't the know win. If it... You got yeah. And time is up. Got an answer for us. Uh... Adrian and I. Final answer. 
That is correct. Two, lock in the win. And Marcus and Will, I would just like to say uh, Wyatt wrote that question, so get mad at him. I thought people would get confused between I and we. I I can't see that. I feel like some people would say we did it, but yeah, that was... I I, I can't hate that, you know? That's just, they're a good team. They're a good team. Rocky is famously selfish. They did well. Well, thank you guys for participating in this very first playing round. Joey and Aaron will advance to the tournament of eight. Their seed will be awarded to them soon. They also get a team name so whenever you guys are ready to share that with us do some brainstorming come up with something clever and let us I know want our name let our name be uh marcus and will okay. <laughs> so their honor lives on <laughs> uh marcus and will we appreciate you guys coming it's always a pleasure um and hopefully we get to see you again in season two. Oh, Thanks, we'll everyone. be back oh we'll yeah be back. <laughs> we'll, be we'll back. study up <laughs> oh yeah. thank you we'll be back